Fellow soldiers of Christ, we all go through points in our lives where we feel that no one thinks of us, that we're all alone, that everyone has forgotten about us, and in fact, we may even think that God has forgotten about us. There's plenty of times we read in scriptures, especially in the Psalms, where the writer is discouraged. He's at a point where he feels that everyone is coming up against him. Everyone is out to get him. Everyone is out to put a stop to him. And in fact, these enemies are trying to expect, like with you, they're trying to get at you to take your focus off of God. Well, I want to bring your attention to a verse of scripture, and it's a very familiar text, so just think of this as a reminder. It's Psalm 139, verses 17 and 18. Listen to what the Word of God says. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Now again, that's a very popular verse, but have you forgotten it? Have you forgotten what it means? I read it again. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. Now maybe you focus on that, that wording, thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. You may know that God thinks of you, but how do you think God thinks of you? You may think he looks at you in anger, disappointment, resentment, or regret. But listen to the wording. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. So these thoughts that God, your Father, who is your Father now through your Lord Jesus Christ, he is your Father, you are his child, you belong to God. His thoughts towards you are precious, not angry, not disappointed, not regretting that he saved you, not resenting you, or looking at you in disgust. These are thoughts, precious thoughts, thoughts of love, thoughts as a father towards his child, his beloved child. And as David goes on in that verse, how great is the sum of them. Now you may be at a point where you feel that everybody has forgotten about you. But let me reassure you, there's probably at least one or two people, maybe in your church family, in your family, a friend, someone you may not really know who thinks of you. They may think of you throughout the day, one or two times a day. They may think of you when they lay down to sleep, when they say their nightly prayers. They may mention you in prayer. They think of you. But it says it here that with God, how great is the sum of them. We go into verse 18. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. So we take these people who love us, they think of us often, they may think of us here and there when they see something or they, a smell, a sight, a word, whatever may make them think of you. But with God, it says, if I should count them, they are more in number than the sand, which means you can't count the thoughts that God has towards you. And again, it's not thoughts of resentment, regret, disgust, or what have you. It is precious thoughts, thoughts of love, and you cannot count the thoughts that God has of you. So please don't think that God has forgotten about you because he has it. It says it right here, Psalm 139, verse 17. How precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. So you are always in the thoughts of God. You are always in the thoughts of your heavenly Father who loves you, who sees you, who will not forget about you. He takes account of his child. He takes account of you. And his thoughts towards you are very precious, loving thoughts. Now, there are some who haven't had a loving relationship with their parents, their father especially. So they have a, a hard time seeing God as their father. They say, well, my earthly father has abandoned me, so God may just do the same thing. Where God is, should not be compared to a person, a man. He is not a man that he should lie. So if the writer here, and remember that the writers of scripture were inspired by God through his Holy Spirit to write what God wanted them to write. So as David is writing here, how precious also are their thoughts unto me, O God, how great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. God inspired David to write this. So this is a word from God. God has given you this word. He is telling you through these, these verses that he thinks of you quite often. In fact, so much so that you can't even count them. They outnumber the sand, which means they are countless. And they are precious thoughts, loving thoughts. Now you may struggle to grasp that. And you may have heard this verse many times, but believe it. 
Trust that it is the truth. Have faith that God does think of you. And again, it's not disappointment. It's not resentment or regret. It's love. He looks at you in a loving way. Now, of course, when a child disobeys a parent, that parent is disappointed, but they still love that child enough to correct that child. And we also read that God disciplines those he loves. He chastens those that he loves. And we go back through the scriptures. You know, we look at Esau. It said Esau he hated. Jacob he loved. Esau he let do what he wanted to do. He just let Esau go with no discipline, no correction or nothing. But Jacob he loved. So he disciplined Jacob. When Jacob grabbed a hold of him and he said, I will not let you go until you bless me, God separated his hip. And we read all throughout the account of Jacob that this happened, this happened, this came upon Jacob. But Jacob learned a very valuable lesson. And God changed Jacob's name to Israel. So God disciplines those he loves. But when he thinks of you, it's thoughts of love. It's thoughts that this is my child through my son, Jesus Christ. You belong to him. God is the one who reached down and pulled you out of that pit. He's the one who reached down and saved you through his son, Jesus Christ. So if he's the one who reached down, pulled you out of the pit, pulled you out of the darkness and shined his marvelous light into your life and saved you, redeemed you, called you by name, it is him who is going to hold on to you. So when you sit there and you say that God has forgotten me, God's not seeing me, I'm, I'm sure that it breaks his heart. If my daughter looked at me and said, you don't love me, you forgot about me, you don't never think about me, it would shatter my heart. It would rip my heart out. So how much more so the God of the universe, whom is our father, when we say he doesn't love us, he doesn't, he doesn't see us, he has forgotten me. How much do you think it shatters his heart? But this is a promise written by King David in Psalm 139, verse 17 and 18. How precious are your thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. So remember that. The next time you think, no one even gives me any thought. I'm alone. Everybody has forgotten me. Remember that. What King David wrote in Psalm 139, verse 17. God does think of you. And they are precious thoughts towards his beloved child, you. And how great is the sum of these precious loving thoughts that your father has towards you. If you should try to count them, they would outnumber the sand, which means you cannot count them. And get this, God thinks of you way more often than you think of him. So spend some time thinking of God. The next time you're going through a difficult time, depression is somewhat taking a hold of you, or anxiety is coming upon you, worry has gripped your mind, and you feel this weight coming down upon you, and it's crushing down on your chest that you can hardly breathe, just think to yourself, remind yourself, how precious are your thoughts unto me, O oh God, how great are the sum of them. If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I lay down to sleep, when I awake, I am with you. You are with God, God is with you, and he thinks of you loving thoughts, precious thoughts. Remember that. Please believe that God's thoughts towards you are not thoughts of anger, resentment, regret, disgust, thoughts of love, precious, loving thoughts towards his beloved child who was bought by the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, made a child of God through Jesus Christ. That's you. If you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ, you are a child of God whom he thinks of very often, so much so that you can't even count the thoughts. And they are precious thoughts to his precious child that he loves dearly, so much so that he sent his only begotten son to die for you. And now that you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ, he holds on to you and he will not let go. So don't let him go. Think of God. And when you think of God, know that he's thinking of you. Well, I pray that this has been an encouragement for you. We all go through moments where we think that people have forgotten all about us, but we have a God in heaven. We have a heavenly Father through our Lord Jesus Christ that does not forget about us, that will not forget about us, but in fact, thinks of us so often that we can't even count those thoughts that he has towards us, which are precious, loving thoughts.
If you did find this encouraging, please like the video. It lets me know, helps the channel, and it gets these videos out so God can hopefully use them to encourage someone else to be a blessing to someone else. If you have any prayer requests, please leave those down in the comments, and it would be my honor to pray for you. If you have any verse of scripture or, or a text of scripture that brings you comfort and encouragement, please leave those in the comments as well. And hold on to this amazing truth. When you feel that you are alone and forgotten, think to yourself, think of God and how he is thinking of you. Loving thoughts towards his precious child, towards you. Remember that. Have faith that your God is faithful and that he will not forget about you. And I pray that God blesses you. And may the grace and mercy of Christ Jesus the Lord be with you always.